This is some half inch manila hemp. Recently I've been doing some edge retention trials between S30V and VG10. Uh, the first question you might ask is, hey Cliff, aren't you a bit late in the game on that? Both these deals have been out a long time and it's relatively well known that S30V will have a slight advantage on doing uh, cutting like this because of the higher abrasion resistance and pretty much everything else is equal between the steels in terms of toughness and strength and both of them are high carbide stainless steels. That's true. But the interesting thing wasn't just to see in two knives with near identical geometries would the S30V blade have significant more edge retention than the VG10. That's a set sort of well known. What I actually did was take the wicked edge and apply micro bevels to the very apex from 13 degrees per side right up to 25 degrees per side and I looked at how the edge retention was affected by the angle of the apex. The first thing that might surprise people is that the lower apex angles produced higher edge retention. Why does that happen? There's two main reasons. The first one is if you look at a very low apex angle versus a very high apex angle you had to remove much more material from a low apex angle to get to a certain thickness. And if you just look at a graphic, that's immediately obvious. Well, the thickness of the apex is a very strong indicator of the sharpness. Apex thickness of around 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 microns is considered optimally sharpened, like they're scalpel level razor blades. As the apex wears and blunts and rolls and has all these little microchips well the apex thickens and at a certain thickness like I said it takes much more work to get there with a lower angle and that's very apparent if you look at a graphic the second thing is that since we're doing slicing or draw cutting you get benefits from a coarse finish because a coarse finish leaves a obvious jagged sort of edge with teeth on it just like a saw so just like a saw, larger teeth will give you an enhanced draw cut. And at a specific grit finish, teeth will actually be larger at a lower edge apex angle than a higher apex angle. So you get a compound effect. Now, the interesting thing, and the reason why I did this, is because if you map out the edge retention as a function of apex angle for S30V and you map out the edge retention as a function of apex angle for VG10 then you can ask a relatively interesting question at what micro bevel angle do you need to sharpen VG10 so you get the same edge retention as S30V when you're slicing half inch hemp rope now that's a question that some people don't even understand has an answer but 10,000 cuts <laughs> on half inch manila hemp, 50,000 sharpness measurements, and over 100,000 calculations later, the answer is in that range of 13 to 25 degrees per side for the apex angle, if you lower the micro bevel, the apex angle of VG10 by around 2.5 degrees, it'll have the same edge retention as S30V. Now, just think about that for a second and think about what it means in regards to all the hype and promotion about edge retention in steels and how S30V is a super steel and it has all that vanadium and VG10 is just sort of your workhorse type material. Two and a half degrees of a micro bevel is all that separates these in terms of edge retention performance on half inch hemp. Now, take that for what it is. The more interesting question that comes out of this is what happens if you take something like this? This is the K2 from Spyderco. It's a collaboration between Farad Mir, Spyderco Knives, and it's in CPM 10V. Now, step aside for a minute the over promotion of ultra high carbide seals by 10V 
and how they maximize edge retention and all that. Let's just forget about that claim for a second. And let's just go with the fact that they do offer increased edge retention over certain steels and certain applications. All that means though, if you go back to the S30V VG10 comparison I just did, is that if you were to take this knife in 10V and compare it to a buck in 420HC, yes, 10V will likely have better edge retention than 420HC doing soft work like cutting manila hemp, but you can ask the same question, what micro bevel angle, what apex angle do I need to sharpen 420HC to get the same edge retention as 10V? And if you think a little bit, you can ask an even more controversial question, which is what angle of the apex do I need to sharpen at 420HC to get better edge retention than 10V slicing manila hemp? 10% better edge retention, 20%, 50%, 100% better edge retention. Again, as you decrease or reduce the apex angle, your edge retention is going to go up. So, <clears throat> a lot of these knives come with very heavy apex angles. This one has an apex angle of between 15 and 20 degrees per side. It changes along the edge. That's a very heavy apex angle. For comparison, felling axes are typically sharpened between 15 and 18 degrees per side. When you're cutting soft things like manila ropes, cardboard, you can go down to very low angles, easily down in the 5 to 10 degrees per side range for your apex angle. There's really no limit to what your edge angle and edge thickness can be on soft materials like that. I've gone right down to edge angles of around one and a half degrees per side. That's where you need to be to cause them to fail ultra low because those materials are very soft. So again, the point of this video is just hopefully to make you think a little bit about the influence that steel makes in terms of edge retention versus geometry. And now again, I've only looked at one aspect of geometry and that's the micro bevel or apex angle. The grit finish of the edge has the same effect in that, in general, lower or more coarse finishes will give you better edge retention when you're slicing. So just like I said that, well, after all that work, I concluded around two and a half degrees per side with the thousand grit uh, wicked edge finish, allowed the VG10 blade to have the same edge retention as the S30V blade. I also could have asked, well, if I step down the grit finish from 1,000 to 800 to 600 to 400 to 200 and so on, at what grit level keeping the micro bevel angle the same would VG10 have the same edge retention as S30V because the lower grits would have gave improved edge retention as well. And again, I'm only looking at the apex. When you start thinking about things like the angle of the edge and the thickness of the edge and the primary grind and the thickness of the steel stock and how they affect cutting ability and how cutting ability is actually in general much more important than edge retention, it might make you take a very long look at steels versus geometry. Because for example, these knives even after I had finished the runs, and when I would consider them very dull, so they would have around 1% of optimal sharpness, very dull, they still cut the half, ramp, half inch hemp rope better than this knife did when it was sharp right out of the box, because they're much thinner at the edge than this, so they required much less force to cut the rope. Because of course, when you're cutting rope, you're exerting force not just to cut into the rope, which is the sharpness, you're also exerting force to push the rope apart. So the total force is the sum of both of those. 
and even though the sharpness on this now is quite low and the sharpness on this is higher <clears throat> I'm after using it a bit so it's not as sharp as it was when new but it's still higher I wouldn't do what I just did with this one so if I start the cut on the rope it will start easier with this knife but as I continue through it because the edge on this is significantly thicker and because the edge angle is significantly higher six and a half degrees per side versus 15 to 20 degrees per side this one still takes much more force so even though this one is sharper this one takes less force to cut through the material and this is an interesting thing and the first person I ever saw talk about this significantly was a guy called Mike Swaim who used to post on Red Duck Knives and what he said was there's a difference between edge retention or how sharp a knife stays and cutting lifetime which is the length of time you will cut with a knife before you actually sharpen it and he said knives that cut very well can have a cutting lifetime that's higher than another knife which has greater edge retention simply because it starts off cutting higher anyway so if you have a knife for example and it starts off cutting this with around four and a half pounds on a two inch straw which is easily possible this knife when new will cut this rope with around four and a half pounds well it has to have 15 pounds of blunting to bring it up to around 20 pounds it's not unusual for knives when new in box which have much heavier angles on the edge to be over 20 pounds when they start because of the thickness of the edge so a knife like this can do possibly somewhere around 500 to a thousand cuts on this rope just to make it dull enough that it cuts with the same force as this even when sharp so it starts off with a thousand cut lead anyway even if the edge retention is lower that much of a head start means practically the cutting lifetime is higher.